Welcome back to the Call for Helpathon. We're uh, heading into our eighth hour of 12. We're going to be here at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Let's. Uh, this is the. This, they, they scheduled this so that this would be the moment when I could run to the bathroom, you know, change my shoes, things like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, what? The cameramen are losing I'm it. Laughing. They're laughing. They're la they're no laughing. giggling. The director saying something. Kevin and talking to each other. And inside Sarah. Joke. No inside jokes. That's Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I called you uh, Karen. It's <laughs> Kevin Rose. Yes, that's right. It's Kevin. <laughs> and Sarah Lane. But Sarah yeah. kind of liked it, I think. Karen. Yeah. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. Karen? No. Karen? No, Karen. I'll just call him Kaz. Cats? Yeah. No. 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 That's my no. cat's name. So this time you're going to do what? What are you going to do for us? We're installing a hard drive. We're installing a new hard drive. Cool. You know, whether sometimes you want to swap out your hard drive for a mm -hmm. better one or a bigger one. Sometimes you want to add a hard drive to, mm -hmm. you know, if you've got some space and you yep. want you want more space in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, storage is cheap right now. People storage are doing things like dumping their videos, things like that, you know, You can get MP3s. 300 gigs for 300 bucks now. I know, even less That's than that. This is. Pr yeah. Prices are dropping. Prices are dropping. So we've got our computer here. We've got our computer. It's all turned off. That's very important. Important. Turn very the computer important. off before you start doing these Don't types of things. Don't kill yourself when installing the hard drive. Yeah, I can actually open it this time. Last time we had, <laughs> a, we had a little problem opening it. This nice is the computer all okay. opened up. Uh huh. And uh, what we're going to look for here is we're going to look at something called your IDE cables. Now, most computers have two IDE chains. These are these, these two fat ribbon cables that are coming off here. As you'll notice, the best way and the easiest way to identify them is to follow them to their, to their source where they're coming from. So here's yeah. the, uh, the source to the destination here, which is the two CD-ROM drives. Right. Because we know that CD-ROM drives also run on IDE. Exactly. And also, if you follow the other one here, you'll see this is going to a hard drive. Exactly. And the way you can tell it's a hard drive is because it looks just like the one you just purchased. And you pulled out of your out of your box. They're, they're different than the, the ROM drives. You can tell once you open up. The yeah, box. you can definitely tell the difference. Yeah. So you have a choice here. Now you can either swap out the drive that you have, put in your fresh, clean drive, or you can add storage. So if you just wanted to add, you know, another 300 gigabytes, like your your D or your E drive, so you can just store all your videos and things like that, you could do that as well. Which is what we're doing here because we've got the room. We don't really because if you wanted to take out a whole drive and put in a new one, you would have to use a program like Ghost. Yes. Something the, to br take all the data from the first drive to the second drive. There's a lot of people out there that are saying, you know, I just want to move all my data to the new drive. Can't, can't do that when Windows is running. Yeah, because when Windows is running, your files are all locked up. They're being used. And what you can't copy over. You can't just drag and drop your Windows directory over. It doesn't work like that. There's yeah. so many hidden files and special oh. files for booting and things Components like that. Components and all sorts of things going on. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to use a program called Norton. Norton Ghost. It's made by uh, Norton, who makes antivirus and some other great programs. And uh, you'll actually boot from floppy disks so that Windows isn't running, and then you can do that copy between the two drives. It'll actually copy all the data over from the old drive to your new big drive. And we have some instructions on how to do that on the Tech TV website, but for today, today we're just adding a drive. Yes, we're just adding storage. So exactly. we got a drive here. And we follow the chain. So we, we have the chain. Let me just turn this sideways here. And this is, this is our existing hard drive. Now, it's important to know two things. You can store two devices on a chain. You'll see one's plugged in here, and then we have an empty connector right here. That's ready for a new drive. Cool. Now, also, you have to know that there's two different settings. There's always on a chain, there's a master drive, and then there's a slave drive. Yes. And so what you have to do is you have to make sure that the jumpers are set properly. So you'll see here, these are what's called little jumpers, if you can get a close-up shot of that. These actually pull out, and let me pull one out just a tiny ways here so you can see what they look like. They pull out like that. That's a little jumper. It connects two wires. You can see it sticking right up here. There you go. Once you pulled it out. So that, that, that connects two wires. And you want to set this to the slave because we're just adding a drive. Exactly. So there'll be instructions. Every hard drive manufacturer is different. They're not all the same. So you have to make sure that you know exactly which ones. It's really easy. You pull out one jumper. You just put it on there, and it's a slave. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, then you can, in this case, we had drive mounting rails. These rails right here. That's so that you don't have to, most cases are not going to have these. Dell mm -hmm. likes to use these so it's easy to pull in and out the hard drives. Right. But um, if you don't have drive mounting rails, you'll simply just slide it in and then be able to screw the, the screws in from the side. Cool. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to slide this drive in. Slide it in. It slides in really easily. Yeah, it does because those nice Easier rails. Easier than the video card even. Yeah, for sure because it has those nice rails and they'll just lock into place. You'll see that those are the little tabs right there. Right. They yeah. kind of just lock in there and secure the drive. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to add power to the drive because the drive has to have power to spin up and work. Sure. And you'll notice that we just happen to have an extra little power connector here. But there's also other power connectors that are attached to the power supply. This is your power supply right here on your computer. And what's going to happen is you'll see the all 
all these different connectors coming off of it. Just basically look for an empty one. Like here's even another empty one right here right. that we could use. So we're going to take that one here, and, uh, or either one. It doesn't matter. So you just have to, you know, you're starting from the from the power supply. There's got to be something plugged into your new drive. Right. And if You've you got to have power somehow. Exactly. And if you don't have one, if you run out or you have one of those small little tiny computer cases, you can buy splitters for about 3 or $4 at your local computer shop. Cool. And we'll split one of your existing power supplies off so you can plug it into the drive. Nice. And then once you've done that, then you just basically flop this cable over here, and then you're going to seat the cable. I know this is kind of hard to see. But um, basically, it's, it's kind of difficult, too. With It depends on the case. You know, they're all different. Well, it, it takes a little working. And you have to make sure that you get it right because there's only one way this cable can go in. And uh, you don't want to bend any of the pins. Now, well, you can kind of carefully feel it out. Right. And now, I know you, you can't really see what I just did there, but I pushed the connector until I felt it kind of snap down to the bottom there. You'll feel it kind of hit the base of the plastic in little connector right here, and that means that you've actually secured the drive in there. So now that you have your power and your, and your uh, cable plugged in, you're good to go. So that's set up as the slave on the hard drive's chain. Now, what if, uh, this is the question that a lot of people probably have, they want an extra drive, what are the advantages to putting internal and versus external? Well, but external seems a lot easier. External is a lot easier because you have, uh, it's just simple to plug in. You can get ones that are either run over USB or you can get ones that run over Firewire, but they're not going to be quite as fast as the internal uh, variations just because this bus runs it a lot faster than, say, a USB connection to the external drive. But a, a USB connection, uh, the external drive would be actually really nice because it's so easy to store your media on and things like that, you know, mm -hmm. and, you, and you can take it when you go places. If you have a laptop or you have a friend's computer that you want to take it to, you can, it's, it's easy to portable, you know, you can take it around anywhere you want to go. Yeah, it's good to just sort of have all that stuff in one place. Yeah. So awesome. Th that's all installed. You're good to go. And then at this point, you can just close your computer case. Now, you're not done yet. <laughs> I, we don't have anything hooked up to this, so we can't show you. But once you get this far... We didn't want to electrocute ourselves. Yeah, we, we didn't want to do that. Once you get this far, you go into your BIOS, and uh, we have instructions on the website. We do. You basically just define the drive, and then you format it, and then you have all that extra storage, and you're good to go. You've just added a new hard drive. You know, I think that people think opening up your box and installing thing is more daunting than it actually is. You know, it's, it's, really it's the first time you do it. You know, you're scared. You might break something. But if you take your time and you read the instructions, it's really not that hard. Good. Great. So, oh, we want to say hi to your mom and dad too. Oh, that's right. They that's just right. got a satellite. My oh, parents, right. my parents are new owners of Directv, and they are watching Tech TV the first that's time. Great. It just got today. hooked up today. That's like cool. Like, oh, that, like, so they couldn't the call, watch the beginning. Oh, my that's mom great. Me and says, We're in. Oh, so, oh, that's hi so guys. cute. Hello. That's funny because my dad. <laughs> Welcome uh, to my world. My dad just got uh, Directv too. Oh, nice. He started watching for the first time last week. That's it's, great. You know, I'm going to get a lot more feedback. Now. Yes. <laughs> well, coming up next hour, uh, Sarah's going to show you how to upgrade. A bigger and better boyfriend. That'll be fun to watch. No. But no, I'm just teasing. No. I'm just making a joke. Thanks, kids. What would. Oh my gosh. The fr you know, I don't think we've ever seen you kiss on the air. Let's not see it now, though. What would the world do with it? It gets sloppy. What would the world